Hi guys and welcome to my very first channel video here on iTomsky where I will be basically talking about iPhones, technology and stuff. This first video will be a speed test. I am comparing an iPhone 4S running on iOS 6.13 on the left hand side and a 4S running iOS 9.2 on the right hand side. Right now I am still waiting for them to boot up. Motivation I made this video was a lot of people were talking like, wow, iOS 6 was much faster, much more stable, much more beautiful. Well, in fact, it was much more beautiful. It was a real eye candy until this um, manga style came up with iOS 7. iOS 6 is already booted up. That's really nice. iOS 9.2 is still loading. Yeah, I know I have no SIM card installed. So, iOS 9.2 is already there too. So, let's just get to the home screen. And here we go. Okay, it was both the same speed, but um, iOS 9.2 was stuttering. Let's check messaging. Winner is obviously iOS 6. Let's type something. Okay, you see um, the keyboard hangs at 9.2. Um, I disabled word prediction here because it's a feature that was not included in iOS 6 and I wanted fair conditions. Let's take a look at the calendar. Again, winner is iOS 6. Although this kind of stuff is more comfortable. Let's take another look. Um, photos. Again, the winner is um, obviously iOS 6. Although there are tons of pictures loaded there in iOS 6 and none in iOS 9.2. iOS 6 was anyway faster. Okay, take a look at the camera. Yeah, winner is already iOS 6. And yeah, let's take a picture. Um, with no HDR, we want identical stuff here. So take a picture. Yeah, iOS 6 seems faster and let's switch to that picture. Winner is clearly iOS 6. And go back to camera. There, iOS 9 slightly won. Okay, next will be, um, let's see, what do we have here? Um, okay, I hit the weather app somewhere here. Here we go, weather. Winner is clearly iOS 6. Wow, this is taking long. This is really taking long. It's not even reacting. Ah, there it is. And the usability is not pretty good on iOS 9, I must say. It often hangs. You see, I have another location there, but yeah, now it's switched. Clearly, iOS 9 uh, I mean, iOS 6 is clearly the winner. Um, so let's go back to um, home screen. Notes. This is taking very, very long. Okay, 
here we go let's force close them both because it was not re really set up there and fire them up again notes again winner is ios 6 although ios 9 was not that bad now just had to build up some database or stuff um, reminders boom it's there Yeah, let's force close it again because it was not set up yet. And try again. Winner is clearly iOS 6. Okay, so much for that. Now the clock. Switch around for a bit. Well, you see that iOS 9 needs slight um, a moment longer to switch, but it's not even half a second, so that's okay. Okay, it's very clear that iOS 6 is faster. Settings. It's not that slower than iOS 6. It's still all right. I can show you the iOS version is 6.13 here on this side, 9.2 on that side. Okay, next will be the calculator. I hit it somewhere, so I um, am opening it this way. It's all right. It's running fine. Uh, what do we still have here? Yeah, we have the phone app. iOS 6 is the clear winner. But once you have opened an app, um, it will start up fast on iOS 9. If you have not started up more apps because memory is very limited on the 4s when i switch back to phone app right now it's instantly there but it get gets kicked out of the memory very fast because you have very little of that emails yeah takes a bit longer on ios 9 but it's still okay um, the Google account does not work anymore with iOS 6, by the way. So if you have a Google account, you want to run it on iOS 6, you have to put in the IMAP and SMTP server manually. Uh, let's start Safari. And fire up, well, what web page do we want? Um, let's take um, a German tech magazine. Um, and see how fast it is loading. Bam. Winner is iOS 6, clearly. Although it is a web page that is optimized for mobile devices. Uh, let's um, open an article here, this one. Oh, I didn't hit it right. Uh, next one. Again, faster browsing is only possible with iOS 6. Okay, next one. Music. Bam. Really nice, really fast. takes okay iOS 9 needs a uh, quite while longer to start playing that song let's repeat it with another artist um who do we have here? 
something identical. I don't have it, but let's start just something like this here. And finally, iOS 9 all also starts playing. Um, but right now I could not, cannot use that music, so I'm shutting it down. Okay, all right. Then we are pretty much through through the standard apps. Um, what else do we have here? Not much, really. Um, let's just take a little performance test and see how they perform. Okay, iOS 9 needs really a lot longer than iOS 6 to start apps and we're running the benchmark in 3, 2, 1, now. All right, they are pretty identical fast. Um, we won't submit the results, but we will compare them right here. So we see iOS 9 has a higher score on CPU power. And data encryption is a lot faster with iOS 9. Mass storage access is faster in iOS 9 and memory access is faster in iOS 6. 2D graphics is a lot better on iOS 6 and 3D graphics is slightly better on iOS 9. So what's the conclusion of all this? Whoa! <laughs> the conclusion is um, iOS 6 is mostly faster and is basically bug free but consider this warning not all apps are running on iOS 6 of course you can always download an earlier version but some app developers change something in their system and then the iOS 6 apps don't work anymore but the most important apps like WhatsApp, Telegram and stuff like that Instagram etc Facebook they are they all have versions running very fine on iOS 6 the Facebook app is even better on iOS 6 because you still can chat within the Facebook app you don't need the damn messenger um, I would say it's up to you if you want a iPhone that is running fast like a beast and is stable you should pick iOS 6 and um, if you want those comfortable features like this um, control center, stuff like that, you can get it on iOS 6. You have to switch to iOS 9. So guys, I hope you like this video. I will shortly upload another video where I, com where I, I will compare iOS 9.2 with the beta one of iOS 9.2.1. Cheers.